Goshen County's former clerk of the district court has been sentenced to prison for stealing more than $125,000 from the county. KNV.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. And our top story, Goshen County's former clerk of the district court, Kathy Rickard, has been sentenced to three to six years in prison after pleading guilty to two counts of felony theft. Rickard resigned from her post last year after embezzling more than $125,000 from county Y user and QuickBook accounts. A subsequent investigation began and formal charges were filed in early 2019. Prosecutors did dismiss four other felony theft charges in exchange for her guilty plea. She was looking at a maximum of two years of prison if she made full restitution was only able to pay back 13000 of the $125,400. Well, a battle to keep the Crosswind 0523 runway at Western Nebraska Regional Airport has been decided in the airport's favor after over a year of negotiations. The Federal Aviation Administration proposed shortening and narrowing the 8,000-foot runway, which drew opposition from pilots who use the airport, local businesses, and members of Nebraska's congressional delegation. Airport Director Raul Aguayo told KNB News the average lifetime of the runway is 20 years, and the proposal is nothing that hasn't been heard before. Uh, the first battle was in 79. Uh, when they had to rehab the, the runway at that point, they wanted to shorten it. Uh, the airport director at the time, Don Robertson, he, he fought for it and was able to keep it at its current width. The last battle was in 1999 when Darn was the airport director. And again, they tried to shorten it, narrow it, and he battled through it and was able to keep it. So it was my turn in 2019 to start my fight. So we've been doing this for about a year now. And uh, after several proposals and several phone calls and uh, several you know, visits with Senator Fisher and her aides and Congressman Smith and his aides um, and some letters from the public, you know, we sent out 100 letters to uh, local area community people to uh, support our runway. Uh, the FAA on a Zoom meeting last week announced that they were going to allow us to keep our runway at its current configuration. So we're going to keep the full 8,002 feet by 150 foot wide. Aguayo said having the long, wide, crosswind runway available for the 737-sized aircrafts is important with the increasing number of diversions from Denver International Airport. Well, straight ahead, a hot one today and another scorcher tomorrow. Bill Boyer is in with your weekend weather forecast right after this on KNEB.TV News. Local lending. We're here for you from start to finish. Keeping money in our economy. Supporting local jobs. Giving back to our community. Investing in entrepreneurship. making our quiet towns a destination. At Platte Valley Bank, we support local because we are local. Join us in Mitchell, Nebraska for the 133rd annual Scotts Bluff County Fair, July 25th through August 1st. Evening events start on Tuesday with the FAA Alumni Chore Time. Wednesday's the Heartland Truck and Tractor Pull. Local stock at 6, main event to follow. Thursday is Dueling Pianos by Fun Pianos. Friday it's the No Limits Monster Truck Competition. Then on Saturday it's the 37th annual Rubber Check Race. And on August 15th it's the Demo Derby. For tickets call 632-1828 or visit scottsbluffcountyfairgrounds.com. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing.
This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Across the region tonight, we're going to be dealing with partly cloudy skies, temperatures falling down into the 80s uh, by 10 o'clock and finally down into the 60s as we get towards early tomorrow morning. But it's certainly a hot day out there today and we have another hot one uh, again tomorrow and then cooler weather starts to settle in as we go further down the road as storm chances increase as well and uh, really have a daily chance of thunderstorms every day next week. Yesterday, our high temperature 94. We dropped down to 60 yesterday, about where we should be, a couple of degrees above normal. Nothing in the rain gauge, very short for the year. We are about a half of what we should be for the month. And look at there, uh, almost uh, three and three tenths short for the year. We certainly need that moisture uh, here across the region. Upper 90s to near 100 all across the it's Cornusker State and right here in our area as well. 102 in Shadron. It's 100. Gordon, Valentine, Oshkosh, Scotts Bluff as well. Winds are light out of the southeast uh, or southwest or even the northwest, depending on where you're at. Uh, variable winds, we'll call them. How about that? At generally under 10 miles an hour. Severe weather threat highest off to our north today. Uh, as you can see, a moderate risk of severe storms from North Dakota over into portions of Minnesota. As we get closer here to our region, we're going to be dealing with some severe storms probably on Sunday, at least a chance of them. Slight risk of severe storms uh, northeast of us on uh, tomorrow and then thunderstorm chances resume at least a marginal risk of severe storms on Sunday. Future cast for tonight, just partly to mostly cloudy skies at times will clear out late tonight and turn mainly sunny as we get ready to start the day on Saturday. Lows are not going to be uh, too chilly. Uh, we're going to be in the mid and upper 60s, near 70 in some locations for lows tonight. And then back to tomorrow, future cast shows sunshine throughout the day. Quiet conditions tomorrow. It's not going to be quite as hot. Can't rule out a very slight chance of an afternoon shower or storm. That is about it. And it's going to be cooler than it was today. Still pretty hot, though, across the region. Uh, upper 80s to near 90 in the northwest, over 100 again uh, down around Ogallala. Uh, upper 90s here for most of our region and there's nothing coming up over the next uh, 36 hours in rain. It is going to be fairly quiet out here across the high plains. 64 overnight, partly cloudy for tomorrow. We're going to be dealing with sunshine, not quite as hot. Highs in the mid 90s tomorrow. We'll call it 96. Our seven day forecast, we slip into the low 90s on Sunday, bringing some late day storms. Decent chance of getting some scattered storms out there for Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and then more isolated thunderstorms possible next week as it looks like the monsoon moisture may finally arrive a little bit and give us at least a daily chance of isolated thunderstorms with temps back into the 90s by the middle of next week. Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today and remember United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. The summer heat is back. But you can keep your cool with new windows from Renewal by Anderson. That's right, Christmas in July is back. Plus, it's also Renewal by Anderson's 25th anniversary. And to celebrate, we are offering no payment, no money down, and no interest for 25 months. That means no payment until 2022 and 20% off every window and door. You'll never see an offer like this again. So call Renewal by Anderson of Wyoming today at 307-215-7493. With magnificent views and a majestic rolling landscape, Scenic Knolls Golf Course welcomes you. Located two miles north of Mitchell, make your way to the top course in the valley. Recent renovations and the highest quality greens in western Nebraska provide a fantastic golf experience at a terrific value. Scenic Knolls provides exciting golf for all skill levels and is where PGA Tour pro Nate Lashley got his start. After your round or anytime you're hungry, stop into Ayala's restaurant for good food and drinks. Call today and book your tea time or go online at mitchellcity.net slash recreation. Welcome back. Unified Command confirming four new cases Thursday evening, including a Kimball County woman in her 40s, a Scottsbluff County man in his 40s, a Scottsbluff County woman in her 20s, and a Scottsbluff County female in her teens. Unified Command also reporting one new recovery from Kimball County yesterday as well. Through Thursday evening, the Panhandle has had 369 positive cases, 295 recoveries, 
five deaths, leaving 69 active cases, including 58 in Scottsbluff County, three each in Kimball and Morrill counties, two in Cheyenne County, and one each in Sheridan, Box Butte, and Duell counties. Well, after years of planning, preparations, roadblocks, and red tape, work will begin next week on the Monument Valley Pathway North project in Scottsbluff. The city says Paul Reed Construction plans to start on the pathway from the Riverside Zoo to the Beltway Highway, as well as Avenue I North towards Northwood Park. The entire project is expected to take 12 months to complete and will allow pedestrians a wide walking path throughout the city aimed at being walker friendly. And there will be no trial for the man who is facing three felony charges for allegedly firing a handgun near a Gearing residence and threatening to harm co-workers earlier in December. 41-year-old Matthew Arnold pleaded guilty to charges of terroristic threats, attempted use of a firearm to commit a felony, and attempted unlawful discharge of a firearm. That stems from an incident the morning of December 13, 2019, that involved shots fired into the air from a pickup truck after a verbal altercation. That led to a day-long manhunt for the defendant and lockouts at area schools and a number of businesses. Arnold will be back in court on August 28th for sentencing. Well, straight ahead, Alex and Rebel will be in with your Friday Five. They'll have that right after this on KNEB.TV News. Who is Hydrotex? Hydrotex manufactures and distributes over 300 different high-performance lubricants, including fuel conditioners, hydraulic and transmission fluid, and more. We've been helping customers improve their operations for more than 80 years with products made in the USA. We sell directly to customers and can even deliver right to your door to offer excellent service and value. Our products are made to exceedingly extend drain and grease intervals to reduce maintenance and labor costs to improve the budget. Whether you're in a factory, farm fleet, or like to go fast, Hydrotex is here to help. Visit your local Hydrotex dealer in person or online today. Box Butte General Hospital continues our mission to lead and innovate in healthcare delivery and community wellness. But this isn't just a hospital. This is home to exceptional patient care. This is the greatest place to work, receive care, and practice medicine. This is innovation in action. This is community wellness. This is where specialty clinics fit your needs. This is where a friendly smile, a warm hand, and an empathetic ear exist to care for you. We are Box Butte General Hospital. This is us. Great things are happening here since 1976. Home buying is filled with decisions. Neighborhood, floor plan, fenced yard. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Home buying is filled with decisions. Square feet, fixer upper, room to grow. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Thanks, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> We are packing our bags and we are here for an adventure. <laughs> We're at JP Acres just outside of Lincoln, Nebraska for this week's edition of Friday Five, which is brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. Okay, so we've actually enlisted the help of Joel Armstrong. He's the owner of JP Acres. And he's going to tell us five things you should know about llamas and alpacas. What's the difference between a llama and an alpaca? <laughs> what is the difference? A llama is twice, twice their size and their wool is not as fine, so they're not so much of a wool market, and their structure is a little different, and alpacas are round on the rear end, and a llama is square on the rear end because of the placement of their hips. Uh, everybody thinks they spit. They all can spit. Llamas, alpacas, camels, they all can spit. It all has to do with how much they're handled and how well they're acclimated to people, and that and when they get upset, that's part of their mechanism when you get upset. Like when you go to the zoo, if you were in a pen all day and people poking you, you wouldn't be a very happy person either. But the good news is, is they tell you when they're upset. They put their head up and their ears back. And so that's when you have to decide to give them some room and let them calm down and be your friend. They can't bite you because they only have teeth on the bottom. So they're good lawn mowers, and they have a prehensile lip, which is like a monkey has a prehensile tail and can grab things. So they reach out and grab things, and that's how they eat. 
Oh, do you want it? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, nummy, nummy. They can actually go into um, nursing homes and schools and churches they've all been in because they're hypoallergenic. They carry no parasites or anything in their wool. So they're very clean. You can't be allergic to them. I don't know. Is there anything you want to add? <laughs> I like dandelions. Find me dandelions. <laughs> oh, oh, look. We have a dandelion. Oh, Romeo, do you want a dandelion? <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, nummy, nummy, nummy. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can focus on what matters most. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can earn more, save more, and do more. For the past 44 years, Platte Valley Vacuum and Sewing has been serving the Wyoming, Nebraska area. That's quite a long time. At Platte Valley Vacuum Sewing, you'll find quality sewing machines, quilting and embroidery machines, even sergers from name brands such as Foff and Baby Lock, both known for their well-made machinery. Keep in mind you'll receive one-on-one -on -one lessons with your machine purchase. Platte Valley Vacuum Sew also offers a fine selection of 100% cotton quilting fabrics and a great selection of threads and notions to assist you in most any quilting or embroidery project you might have. For all your sewing machine quilting needs, stop by Platte Valley Vacuum Sew, downtown Scotts Bluff. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a peek at what's happening on your weekend community calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar, brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant, and full service gas leader. At Pot Valley Bank, we want you to plan for tomorrow Will you enjoy today. With our personalized trust and estate planning services, our trust services can help you do just that. When it comes to estate planning, you should seek professional help. And when you do, you should have confidence in the financial institution you choose to handle your trust. At Pot Valley Bank, we pride ourselves in keeping our trust operations local and serving our friends and neighbors. We offer a highly personalized, full line of personal trust and estate planning. Give us a call today and see how our trust services can help you. And finally tonight, students and teachers are back in the classroom in Scotts Bluff and testing out social distancing and other safety measures ahead of the upcoming school year. Scotts Bluff's district-wide summer school program kicked off on July 6th at Lincoln Heights Elementary and includes four teachers and 25 students ranging from kindergarten to third grade. Summer school principal Ashlyn Shaneman said a lot of discussions were held on how to safely get kids back in the classroom. Yep, so we talked a whole bunch about it. Our um, nursing staff, all of them kind of got together and then looked over the CDC as along with our curriculum director and myself. And so we take temperatures of everybody when they come in every morning. Um, when they're lined up outside, they're six feet apart. Um, and then in the classrooms, they're spread six feet apart as well. She says everyone got used to the new protocols very quickly. Of course, like there was a little apprehension at first about wearing masks all the time, but it's really kind of become second nature almost, so it hasn't been as difficult. So, Shaneman says that getting back into school for the first time since mid-March was a welcome change for teachers, students, and parents alike. Yes, they are anxious to be back, both parents and or parents are excited for their kids. Um, we offered it to just a limited few that needed a little bit of extra reading help um, and then just the opportunity to come back and teachers are very excited to be back. The summer school program will continue until July 30th and afterwards a discussion of what worked and what didn't work will be held ahead of the start of the new school year. Thing. Um, like one thing that we found that temperature taking takes a long time. Um, we didn't think it was going to quite take as long. I mean, with our 25 students that we have right now, it takes, you know, a good five minutes. Well, when you've got 400 kids, that's a lot more. So kind of thinking of the logistics, how that's going to work. The Scottsbluff Summer School Program is held Monday through Thursday from 830 to 1130 and focuses solely on reading and math. Tahar Food Services also provides the students with a mid-morning snack and also sends them home with a brown bag sack lunch as well. Hey, well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.